Hi, I'm Sean Gambroni, and I play Adam Goldberg on The Goldbergs. Today we're filming at Memorial Coliseum, and uh, we're making it seem like it's Veterans Stadium back in Philadelphia, which I heard might have been torn down. So this is the beginning of my day. I'm doing hair and makeup with uh, Bonnie Flowers and Dana Fane Stevens. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my hair's already done, and now I'm just getting the makeup. It's a pleasure doing Sean's makeup for the show. And the first time I read the script, I knew that it was going to be awesome. I didn't know it was going to be this awesome, but I knew it was going to be pretty great. Pleasure to work with him every day. It's the highlight to my day. Okay, all done with hair and makeup. I'm ready to go on set. I don't know if I feel safe saying this, but Sean is one of uh, <laughs> my most favorite people to work with on the show. Uh, he's he's extremely talented. Uh, he he always brings his A game. He always knows his lines. He always has a ton of energy. It's a pleasure, and it makes my job extremely easy. So in this episode, uh, Adam or Sean gets lost alone in Veteran Stadium, and it's a lot of fun to see him freak out. And he's doing a great job. In this case, he's going to the baseball game with his dad, and he has to, you know, you have a large soda. One thing leads to another, you gotta use that bathroom, and it's about the trauma of using the trough. Hey, Mark. Yep. Here we go, and background. Dad, I gotta pee. Oh, the bathroom's right up there. Go on ahead. But it's Veteran Stadium. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, except with beer and sadness. All right, let's cut. Cutting. Sean is fantastic. I think one thing that helps is that he comes from Illinois and was not, his personality was largely formed. Then he came here and he, and all the bad stuff didn't really penetrate because he built up an immunity of real humanity. This would say, it's like Willy Wonka's candy factory. But it's, with it's, beer, but it's, with like, it's like Willy Wonka's candy factory. It's with beer and sadness. Exactly. So he's just a smart, sweet, compassionate, kind kid, and everyone has to behave because who wants to be like who wants to be a jerk in front of Sean? No one. We're all on our best behavior because he's so great. When you're coming from a, you know Chicago and everybody's there, everybody we know, we we've never lived here, don't really know anybody here. Now they've become family to us, and so whenever we return from Chicago, there isn't this homesickness or anything because it's like no, we're coming back to our friends here. Okay, so now it's time to go to school. I got all my backpacks and I'm ready to rumble. I'm Tom Goodrich. Uh, I'm the studio teacher here on the Goldbergs, Sean's teacher. This is the school. Every day he does about three hours of school. Some days it's a little bit less, some days it's a little bit more, but it's every day we have to do school. So the really long days when he's in everything, you know, it's a lot of work he does. It's, it's wonderful work on the top. He's really been helping me this year and um, I couldn't have asked for a better teacher. It's been really kind of neat to see like the cast and crew just has come to like almost know this group of people that hang with Sean. There's like four or five of us at a time and we're called the sean Taraj. Oh, this is uh, Allison, Allison Turner. She's, she's my acting coach. We're here every day and this is since, since season one, so I've been with him for a very long time. You know the line, but like you're having trouble True knowing with, yeah. So what's great about him with comedy in particular is that he likes old stuff. He likes the Golden Girls and Seinfeld and, and things like that. So he just has a, a really great vocabulary of, of comedy and, and and we just hang out and goof around and, and we're, we're BFFs these days. Sean has an amazing amount of energy and is so much fun to watch him work. Um, and it's a lot of fun to be up in the writer's room with the real Adam and then come down to the set and see the mini Adam running around saying the lines. Well, it, it's been awesome because I, I just love the character because he's just always so happy all the time and he loves getting his, like he likes getting his family agitated. I think that Sean really shares Adam's wide-eyed innocence about the world and excitement and enthusiasm. That's something I think they both really have, and um, I think that's why he's a perfect kid to play this part. I think that the character of Adam is more like me than I th originally thought when I first saw the script, but now that I'm playing it more, I, I realize he is, because I love Star Wars. I love all like the things that are considered more nerdy, and I was like, okay, fine, I like the video games and all that, and. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think he's, yeah, more like me than I originally thought. 
he now comes to set more prepared uh, to play Adam Goldberg and and because he understands his character better and and some of the small things uh, that that Adam uh, that, that Adam writes for him that he sees immediately now that maybe last season he didn't see. And so I don't know if the writers are starting to write more as they've gotten to know him more, but we've seen um, things like this episode with the um, messy public bathroom, and he finds it so disgusting. And I mean, that that's Sean to a T. Yeah, I've had this thing for since a young age about bathrooms. Like, I've always raided them, and I come out of the bathroom, it's no good. And, and then sometimes I just love them, and um, so, so this episode really hits home for me. Background and action. All right, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. My bladder shut down. There was too much pressure at the trough. Well, you had your chance. The bases are loaded. I'm not taking you again. Just go. Is there some kind of private executive washroom with scented soaps instead of a giant metal river of whiz? When will the hand-holding end already? Just be a man! What's cool to work on a TV show is that then you just keep growing as a character and just learn new things about him. And even if you think that that's not what Adam would do, it's kind of like, well, Based on his like background that you've already started to gather, it is something that he might do, and like it's cool that you're like learning more about this character and making him more your own, and you get really comfortable with it because you just do it week by week. All right, let's cut. We'll reset. When I first started working on the show and I was covering the set, Adam said, "Well, you may have to get the line sort of piece by piece." You get them one at a time with Sean. And by the end of the first season, certainly the middle of the first season, Adam was saying, uh, I could tell that the scripts were coming down and Sean would have large monologues to open a show. Or, and it was, we knew he could carry stories. And it's really true because he's, he's Adam's eyes and ears. He's the heart and the soul of the show. All right, here we go. Set. And background. Right. Are those cheers for me? It's time for lunch. <laughs> I just finished up some school and now we're ready to do some night work. He's coming in. Well, I feel like being on location, you just get that fresh air. Well, it's unlike the stage because the stage is all closed off. It feels like the, the production is so much bigger when you see it all spread out on location. While indoors, it just seems like it's just one family, but now it's like the whole family and different. I think I enjoy it though. <laughs> we're getting photobombed right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Everything goes on action. Here we go. Ready and action. Well, I, I love working with David Katzenberg because he's just a really nice guy and, and he's always funny and always cracks these jokes. And action. Since he does every other episode for the Goldbergs, he's really like the home director and he really feels like he completes the family. Last scene of the day and then it's a wrap. So let's go. It's a wrap on you. It's oh, it's a, it's a wrap on me, not the rest of us. So. <laughs> As you're going into the house. Roll. Yeah. All right, we're rolling. Can't speak highly enough about Sean. It's a pleasure working with him. So, um, he's got a he's got fun episodes to come as well. So. We enjoy it so much. <laughs> so we kind of all take turns coming, including Grandma. This is my grandmother, Nona, with, and that's Nona is Italian for grandmother. So. Uh, <laughs> So what do you think of this whole experience, Nona? Oh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. And we're so proud. I know everyone says this. This kid is a pleasure to work with and a pleasure to know. Unlike everyone else in the cast who is terrible. Except for, nope, everyone's terrible. Sean is the only good person in the cast. And action! It's a wrap.